Hey everyone, my name is Mike Pan. I'm one of my FIFA 13 Man of the Match at the Bike Review. His current price is 220000 My pay list should probably be fall falling down to 150000 He plays for Togo, and he also plays for Tottenham in the Barca Premier League, and his possible positions are striker, center forward, cam, and CM. And now on to his in-game stats. He has 86 ball control, 74 curve, 85 dribbling, and 90 finishing. He also has 77 long shots, 93 penalties, 90 shot power, and 92 volleys. He's right-footed, medium low work rates, four-star skills, three-star weak foots, and obviously he's six-three. Now onto his physical attributes, he has 70 acceleration, 76 jumping, 85 reactions, 78 sprint speed, and 86 strength. Now there just had to be 79 attack positioning. Now this is a squad I played him in. Um, obviously see Defoe giving him nine chemistry, and you see he had 15 goals in six games, which is pretty impressive. And um, th just quickly before I start on to actual review, this is pretty funny and ironic. Uh, I think this was actually one of the first games I ended up playing with him. And um, first he gets a yellow card and then he scores for me. So I'm like, you know, no big deal. He's going to be my hero. He's going to save me. You know, everything's going to go great. Nothing wrong could happen, right? But no, obviously we all know Adebayor and obviously we know what's going to happen. He actually ends up getting a yellow card, another yellow card. So I'm just like... Is it, how ironic is this if anybody remembers the Arsenal game? But yeah, anyway, now on to the actual review. Basically, everything with Alibayor is pretty straightforward. As you see, this review will actually be really short. Basically, shooting inside the box, amazing, godlike. But shooting outside the box, horrible. Oh my god, his shooting outside the box is so bad. He has actually really good shot power, but it's just, I don't know, it's just his shots would be so wayward. The other thing I just really want to talk about is his dribbling. His dribbling is amazing. His um, you know, his dribbling, his ball control is really good. As you see, he has really good ball control, and you see me anally rape his defense, and um, you know, and I feel like with his four-star skills, they're really helpful. They're one of his biggest assets because with his 86 strength, you know, when he does a Burba spin or a Ronaldo trap, whatever, and other players tend to bounce into him, you know, he doesn't get knocked off the ball, so that's really great. But the one of the bad things, and I know I didn't get too many clips of it, is that um I don't like his positioning. Or I don't know if it's his work rates. He feels like he has low, low work rates, unfortunately. Um, or it might be his attack position, which is only 79, which is actually not really that good for a striker. And um, one of the things that makes Adebayor Adebayor, and you know, like I said, this review is really straightforward. Um, is that he has really good heading, and um, I know there's a lot of good headers out there, you know the likes of Falcao or whatever, but I rate Adebayor over them immediately because one, he has extremely good heading and two, he's extremely tall, so that helps and he has 86 strength, so you know, he doesn't get knocked off the ball that quick when he's jumping in the air. The other thing that really impressed me about Adebayor was his passing, although I only got one clip here showing his pass, he actually ended up passing and assisting a lot for me, so you know, if I were you, I'd actually put him in that center forward positioning. And, um, you know, obviously, Sir, you know, he's a really good goal threat on corner kicks. But um, the other thing I just want to really talk about is that he has horrible weak foot. Um, you know, like I said, what you see is what you get with him. His three-star weak foot does sound about right. And here you see he has a pretty good um, penalty stats. I mean, he's not exactly a poacher, but he is a pretty good striker, if you if you get what I'm saying. Quick recap on his positive and negatives. He's strong. He, he's tall. He has amazing passing, close ball control, good dribbling, good heading, and good finishing. Um, weak foot's a negative, bad positioning, he's a bit slow, and my rating would have to be a 7 out of 10. Now on to the end of the video where I could actually talk. Um, you know, like I said, you know, just thank you so much for viewing. Here are some of, some of my recent videos. Leave a comment, a like. If you're a YouTuber, feel free to leave a comment of your channel name. I'll always check it out. Also, any ideas and suggestions will always be read and taken into consideration. Subscribe for more content. You know, just follow me on Twitter at HelloMikeyPanda. I'm very interactive with my followers. And uh, I just want to catch my breath for a quick second. And I'm just so exhausted right now. Uh, I like I stood up all night trying to edit this video, trying to be one of the first ones to upload um, the review on him. And, you know, if you guys could leave a thumbs up, I would absolutely really, really, really appreciate it. And, you know, stay tuned because I will be more consistent. I'm going to be uploading more videos this week. So I'll see you guys there. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Mike Pan TV, and I'm out.